Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So given a straight line, y equals mx, and it goes through the origin, uh, find an arc length parameterization of that line. So basically what it's saying is that um, if, let, let's say the particle has traveled, let's say eight meters. So I, I feed in the, the, the length, eight meters, and you have to somehow come up with the location. You have to somehow come up with the location. So what, what this location is, is the, vec the position vector in terms of the length. So, so you could find this. So basically fill in, fill in the blanks, okay? Uh, but what I'm feeding into this machine is the length. What I'm feeding into this machine is S, the length. Okay, so, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, we've already seen to set up the parametric equations for, for a straight line, it will be T and then MT. Um, and then we've seen that the formula for the arc length is given by this. Um, I'm expecting you to know this by now, but because we're working 2D, we can forget about the Z direction. Um, and then, well, this whole thing here, we, we've seen that that is the magnitude of the velocity vector. So, so this whole thing here it can, can represent this. It's just that this thing here is a lot simpler. And then later on, we need to come up with a function where where we input a time and then it will give us the uh, the length. So basically later on we need to compute this. And we've, we've already seen this, I'm expecting you to know this. So the first step is to work out this, this magnitude of the velocity. So our first step is to work out this and then later on we're gonna integrate it in order to obtain this. So our first step is to work out this. So given this, we should be able to work out this. So given, given the uh, position vector, so given the position vector here, we can work out the, um, the, the velocity vector by, uh, by differentiating it. So we've already seen this, so differentiate this, that would then give us this, differentiate this, that would then give us this. But then, but then if we want to find the magnitude, we need to use Pythagoras. So remember, it's gone one across and then m up. So Pythagoras would give us this. So the magnitude of the velocity will be given us will, will be given by this. So now, now that we know this, the arc length is given by this, integrated from a to b, and then integrated with respect to, to time. So now, uh, now we want to find we want to find this. So integrated from rather than from a to b, integrated from zero to t. But we can no longer use dt, we have to use du, and I've already done an explanation as to why it jumps from t to u, so I'm expecting you to know this by now. So we are currently here, remember this whole thing here is a constant, so integrate the whole thing with respect to u, that will then give us this, constant times u from 0 to t, from 0 to t. Now put this t into here, that will then give us this, take away, put the 0 into here, then the whole thing would be zero. So that would then give us this. So what that means is, what that means is this, hang on. So what that means is, uh, what this means is, given a time, given a time, let's say three seconds, t equals three, we, we will immediately know the distance traveled. So that, that's what this thing here is saying. You give me a time, and I will tell you how far you, you have traveled along that line. So let, let's say t equals three, uh, let, let's just imagine it has traveled eight meters here. So, so now we, we want to create a machine in such a way that when we feed in the distance traveled eight meters, it should give us the location. It should give us a location in terms of the, of what you just fed in. Uh, you just fed it eight meters. So, um, so we want, we want to find this now. So, um, so given the distance, let's say eight meters, let's say eight meters, we want to first find the time it takes to get to travel eight meters. So, so looking at this here, we want to find t. And then later on, when we know t, we can put it into our original position vector. So starting from here, we can jump to here. We can jump to here. Because we, we, we are trying to create a machine where you feed in s. Well, well, let's forget about the s of t because we 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 are we are feeding into uh, it, what we are feeding eight into the machine. We no longer need the t. We know the distance is eight, so we are feeding in the number eight. So we are we know this thing here as s. 
we, we, we are not we are not interested in the s of t we are interested in well we know the distance the distance is eight so we don't need that we, we just need to feed in s so from here so from here we uh, we can rearrange it we can rearrange it to find the time it takes to do eight meters so uh, so rearrange this so the time it takes to do let's say eight meters will be given by this now that we know the time we can put it back into here and into here so that will then give us the position for for um that will then give us a position after we've traveled eight meters so so the position vector is given by by this okay